oh, okay, I wasn't gonna make a video about The Flash Season 3 yet or anything, but because this... Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the story. A few days ago, I started Season 5 of Arrow, but then I forgot about the fact that there was an invasion crossover that had not just Arrow, not just Flash, but Legends, Supergirl, all four major DC TV shows together doing a four episode long crossover, and I thought to myself, okay, I don't want to mess this up because I'm watching these on Netflix. I don't have all the episodes offhand like I would for the DVDs when I watch the Legends crossover for Season 4 of Arrow and Season 2 of Flash. All that good stuff. So, I decided if I'm going to watch the Invasion crossover of Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, and all that, I may as well watch all the series up until that point. That way it's like, alright, there we go. Now I know what's happening up until everything else went down with the aliens. And now I can just watch the rest of Arrow then flashed and all that good stuff. I wasn't gonna make this video at all. I really wasn't. I wasn't gonna talk about anything involving the flash until after I had done my arrow review for season five, then I would just let it go then. But no, the other day, everything came to a boiling point that I cannot ignore because Cisco and Wally are being idiots and I can't stand it. Here's a bit of a synopsis of what happened. At the end of season two, Barry managed to go back in time to stop his mother from being murdered. And so he was living in an alternate reality where both his mom and dad were still together, still alive, still happy, and he actually got to experience being with them for three months in a universe that was labeled a flashpoint. Everything was different. He was still a speedster because I guess reasons, I don't know why. Wally was now a little kid flash and Barry didn't have to do anything. He just had to exist basically. And he was all fine and dandy until one day he finds out from Eobard, hey, dude, you can't do this. You mess the time, time's gonna mess with you. And then, sure enough, it starts to happen. He starts losing his memories of his own universe and what happened and, and what he had gone through. So he's like, all right, I don't like this, but Eobard has to kill my mother, basically. And it's a very deep moment because he knows what's gonna happen. He only got so much time and he had to let Eobard complete what he had started. Everything goes back to normal, great. Except, not everything went back to normal. The problem that happened from Flashpoint onwards is that because Barry went back and altered the timeline and then tried to re-alter it, he now created a new timeline where things were mostly the same but some major differences happened. Spoiler from here on out, by the way. One major difference is that Joe and Iris can't stand each other now. They got really mad because Joe didn't tell Iris that, that her mother was still alive and now it's just like, nah, what the heck, man? Why you gotta not tell me about these things? And all that, stupid family drama. Caitlyn apparently has Killer Frost powers or is developing them. Don't know where that came from. Cisco's brother died, sadly, which we'll get to in a minute. But that, that's not the worst of it. The worst of it is that there's a man named Dr. Alchemy, Cisco and his freaking names, who is going around to people who had powers in the Flashpoint universe and is showing them the way and bringing them back and bringing those personalities, those memories, those powers back into Earth One's reality. It sucks, it's crazy, no good. So first, we're gonna talk about Wally, who was a speedster in the Flashpoint universe. Well, Wally's always wanted to go fast. It's the main reason he drives cars. He loves the feeling of speed. So now he's just like, oh hey, I mean, everybody, you know, people are developing powers after the particle accelerator explosion. Maybe I got hit with the dark matter and that he, he really, really wants to go fast. He's like Ricky Bobby, except worse. But here's the thing. Dr. Alchemy has a very certain way he works. People get their memories back. I assume he causes it. I haven't watched anything past the invasion episode onward because I had to get this out now. But people start remembering things that happen from the Flashpoint universe. They go to Dr. Alchemy because it gets too painful for them if they don't. And he basically cocoons them and they, they come out with their powers and memories and whatnot. So Wally volunteers his bait so the police can find this guy and he still gets cocooned and whatnot and has these powers. It's like, all right, fine. We didn't want you to have them because obviously it's dangerous. And, but whatever, he's got them now. We're just gonna take it slow and try to figure this out. Well, Wally's a moron, all right? Wally just decides, I can do this, I can fight. It's like, no, Barry is still figuring this out. You think you can do it off day one? Come on, man. And it's one of those things that are just kind of oblivious to it to the degree where you have to be oblivious to it. It's not like one of those things you just miss, like, oh, I forgot my keys. It's like, oh, screw you, mom and dad or just dad, since I'm pretty sure your mom died last season, I can't remember. But he is actively just not caring or seeing the point. Iris tries to sit him down and talk to him. Hey, listen, you're not ready for this. You gotta stay safe. Well, I was just like, what the heck, sis? I thought you were supposed to be my partner in what, all this. In the Flashpoint universe, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're not in the Flashpoint universe, Wally. We're not. We are not in the Flashpoint universe. You gotta understand that. One of the problems that you're having right now is that you're not understanding that there's a delineation between that universe and this one. 
Things happen differently over here. You told Iris right at the get-go. You had powers right at the get-go. You didn't tell your dad for some reason. I don't know why. If I told mine, he'd be like, awesome! Go to the store real quick. I want to get some stuff. But moving on, why do you think suddenly, just from having the memories of this Flashpoint universe, that you are ready to do all these things? I don't understand it. Do you not realize that in the Flashpoint universe, you actually almost died? And I'm pretty sure if it wasn't for the fact that Barry went back and altered the course of events to the way they should be, you probably were dead. Really, Rival rebarred your gut. You probably did not come back from that. You have to understand this, man. And I get it. Some people are just headstrong, especially when they're teenagers like Wally. But there's gotta be a limit. There really needs to be. I'm pretty sure if the consequence for my actions was I died. Ugh. Figure it out, Wally. And now we have to go to Cisco because Cisco's been getting on my nerves just in like an episode or two alone. Because here's the thing. Towards the beginning of the season, Barry let everybody know, hey, listen, I altered the timeline. Things aren't the way they should be. Things were changed. He tells Diggle that they had a baby daughter instead of a baby boy like he has now. Just for an example. And then the one I said earlier, Cisco's brother Dante is dead. Barry gives everybody a choice. Listen, if you want, I will tell you exactly what was different in the original universe and now that, it, you know, what's changed since Flashpoint. Okay, respectable. Cisco declines. He doesn't want to know. Fair enough. I wouldn't either. I would want to be left in the dark with that. Well, Caitlyn's killer frost powers kind of get the better of her, and she outs Barry and says, Hey, your brother was alive on Earth-1 before Flashpoint, so now Cisco is just all up in a tissy about it. I understand, Cisco. I get it. I really do. If I found out something stupid happened to my sister or my brother, yeah, guess what? I would want to fillet them alive. But you're blaming Barry too much. Barry made a stupid and rash decision, I admit. But guess what? Barry is not the one who I assume pulled the trigger or something. I don't know how your brother died. But guess what? It wasn't Barry who made the judgment call, hey, died, Dante Ramon. Bang! Barry just went back and tried to have some fun with his family for a while because he just couldn't handle the pressure. He was a human. He's not God. He's not all-seeing. He's not all-knowing and encompassing. He is just Barry, a man who runs really, really, really fast. You cannot blame him for this multiversal screw-up. And it gets annoying because it's not one of those things where it's like, I gotta be away from you for a little bit, man. It's like, no, he actively hates him now. Like, whoop, best friend switch, done. It's like, all right, all right, listen. You can't do that, Cisco. You can't just do that. It's bad enough that Wally over here may as well be singing Montgomery Gentry songs. So give me speed. How fast can I run? Can I stop crying in no time? Seconds flat. But now you're gonna come up in here and say, Oh, I don't want to have a personal working relationship with you. I just want to have a work relationship. All right, no, stop it. You work with this guy too much to actually let this get in the way of things. I understand you're mad, but no. Barry's not the reason your parents died. Whatever thing he changed was out of his control, clearly. You do not get to be mad at him. This is a lot of rage and whatnot coming from me, I understand, but I can't stand it. I was yelling at my TV because this got me so mad. What's so difficult to understand here, Cisco? Do you really think Barry meant for this to happen? And then you're gonna poke your nose into things that you have no business poking your nose into because apparently Captain Hunter gets a message from Barry 40 years after the fact and we don't even know what's going on. It just says that he's changed the timeline and now things are screwed up and it's like, all right, okay, hold on, now, listen. If something's wrong there, fine, figure it out. Let the legends of tomorrow who can travel through time go to 40 years older Barry and talk to him, Cisco. Don't just bring it up and be like, hey, I found this iPod Nano, which why do they have an iPod Nano in a spaceship and just totally screw everything up? Cisco, your blind hatred of Barry is sabotaging an actual mission. An actual mission to stop an invasion and save a freaking world leader. Just stop it. Nobody likes you right now. Maybe this will all be vindicated in the next few episodes. I don't know, but I am annoyed as can be by this because it's so simple. I don't even understand how he doesn't see it. The man can come up with about 50 different names off the top of his head like he's firing an M60 at the NVA circa 1967, but he can't figure out, hey, Barry didn't pull the trigger. Dumb decision, yeah. But he didn't instigate the murder or the death, whatever it is. I don't know, but... <laughs> and another thing. Why didn't Oliver bring Ragman to the foray? Ragman, the guy who literally wears a cloak that somehow dodges bullets and protects him from nuclear fire? Where's that guy? Okay. Whew. Those are my thoughts so far. I had to get that out there. It was really getting on my nerves. I'm Danny Movie Man. You'll get an actual video for me that's not just me ranting and raving at my camera. Although I think that's pretty much my entire bibliography right now. So it's a, it's a wash. I'm Danny Movie Man. Have a good day.